This visit is the latest example of Wisconsin being at the epicenter of the political world. Between the national conventions, campaign stops and speeches and advertisements, both presidential tickets are spending lots of time and money courting voters in the Badger State. And Northern News Now's Rob Coles breaks down why it's an ultimate battleground. It's busy season at the Douglas County Democratic Headquarters in Superior. Since I retired, I've been wanting to do some volunteer work. For Lori really Berg, the stakes couldn't be higher. I really believe that, you know, our freedoms are on the line. And as a woman, um, being able to have, be able to choose and make decisions about our own health care. Berg grew up in Superior. Her political views were shaped by her family all those years ago. Well, I think, um, Probably I learned from my dad. He was a lifelong Democrat and um, a man of great faith. She's one of many volunteers phone banking, door knocking, and writing postcards hoping to compel Wisconsinites to vote blue. Meanwhile, across town and across the aisle, a similar effort is underway. People want signs. They want signs put up on their properties all over the county. I'm getting more than I think we ever did. Douglas County Republican I Chair Gwen Fine is hoping that momentum will mean a victory for the Trump Vance campaign bringing change. We have issues like the border, both north and south border, um, fair elections, fair economy. We want the government to stay back, if you will. We're independent people. In like Superior. Berg Fine grew up in Superior, her view of the world also partially shaped by her family. My father was very right. Two people from the same area with very different political views. A common occurrence in Wisconsin. That's one reason politicians make the state a priority every election cycle. Here at the University of Wisconsin Superior, political science professor Elisa Von Hagel says the state has been evenly divided on many issues since as far back as the 1800s. Logging was a very divisive political issue. It was political as you know, something like mining or other environmental issues are today. According to Von Hagel, one reason the state has such divided politics may have to do with the way Wisconsinites view elected officials. It's not necessarily based on like, you know, being liberal or conservative, but people's views on, you know, what the purpose of government is and what it should be in terms of debate over, you know, sort of philosophical point of view. She says battleground states with active party involvement for both Democrats and Republicans can play an important role pressing politicians for answers. Wisconsinites play a crucial role in this election um, and it's important that there is that strong two-party competition because it requires the candidates to make statements on their issue position so voters know where they stand. Von Hagel says that strong two-party competition is the main reason it's a battleground. And for the volunteers with those two parties in our area, there's still plenty of work to do before Election Day. I'm a little bit nervous, but I think that's a good thing. I would think we always yeah. need to maintain yeah. our yeah. excitement, yeah. And, and our focus. As U.S. citizens, it's a privilege to vote. Wisconsin, a state adding a purple hue to the red, white, and blue. In Superior, Rob Coles, Northern News Now. Rob, thank you. Now, other than 2016, when former President Donald Trump took the state, Wisconsin went blue for the presidential ticket in every election since 1988. But the margin of victory has been razor thin for some of those years. Check this out. In 2020, Biden won by about 21,000 votes, and Trump won by about 23,000 in 2016. Obama took the state by much wider margins. But take a look at 2000, when Al Gore won by just about 5,700 votes.